Now, given that we have the Ahsoka Tano series about to release on August 26th of this year, we have the final trailer, which, by the way, is planned to debut by this month of July to really set things up for the marketing of that. We have John and Dave really trying to carry a lot of weight on their backs to really course correct the franchise. Whether or not they will be able to complete that task is really all up to them and exactly how much they can really take with all the work going into this. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on with John Favreau. Now we know that Favreau is always a very outspoken creator because he's a passionate fan. He's a passionate guy. Let's face it, he loves the fans. He loves his audience. And it was sad to see what happened with Mando Season 3, let's be real. I mean, it was a really big disappointment for a lot of hardcore fans out there that really enjoyed Mando 1 and 2, especially with the finale of Season 2 with Luke's entrance. Things started to kind of go downhill a little bit toward the last episode of The Book of Boba Fett, where they split both Grogu and Luke apart, and that kind of really tarnished the whole meaning of the Season 2 finale, and by the way, that was a plan by Robert Rodriguez at the time, the executive producer, and even Kathleen Kennedy pushed for that so that they could do what they wanted to do with Mando Season 3, without having too much Luke Skywalker involved, of course. Now, moving on to the next thing of what Jon Favreau had to say, this is actually quite revealing about Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy and her take on things. So, with both John and Dave working to course correct Star Wars with the Ahsoka series recently when promoting the Ahsoka Tano show, Favreau went on to expose something crucial about the company. Favreau went on to state the following. When I was working on Season 3 of Mando 1, of course, uh, Season 3 of Mando 3 as a part to 1, the thing that I really insisted that we do was to bring in both Boba Fett and Ahsoka Tano into the final fight of Mandalore to help battle against Gideon's forces. This was something in the cards. I had it all written out and we even partially filmed some of Ahsoka's scenes from Mando Season 3. But Kathy really pressured us in the end that it was going too far with the cameos. This was well before she wanted to introduce the idea of celebrity cameos since we shot certain moments out of order. It was something I was very against and didn't really support in the long run. I really wanted to have Ahsoka and Boba appear to really surprise the fans, but Kathy's idea was to do away with all of that. Myself and Dave felt it would have had and been a great way to tease the Ahsoka series. Now let me stop right here for a sec. Now, we know that Tamora Morrison, as much as I love the guy, he really got shortchanged. I mean, let's be honest. He really got cheapened out by Disney where they refused to give him a call, they stayed out of touch with him, Kathleen Kennedy specifically instructed both Favreau and Filoni to not contact him, to leave him in the dark. That's why Morrison said he was always sitting by the phone, he was always waiting for that call to come back as Boba Fett, and he was always very much upset about how the book of Boba Fett, his own show, was overshined by Luke Skywalker and Din Djarin and Grogu. He didn't really like that, to be honest. He was very much direct about that. And he was more so having an issue with Din Djarin taking up the entire episode. Let's be real about that. But what's interesting about this is how Jon Favreau is making it clear that the finale of season three of Mando was supposed to have Ahsoka and Boba Fett at the forefront, taking out Gideon's forces and helping out Bo-Katan, Din Djarin, and Grogu. This would have been a big, epic six-character finale, where you have all these different characters taking on Gideon's forces, his stormtroopers that have the Beskar armor, stuff like that. So, Kathleen Kennedy sabotaged all of that because she felt that the cameos were going too overboard. And let me just say one thing here, let me be very honest. Cameos, I get it, they're not always the answer to everything, it's not the answer to making a great Star Wars story, and that's the truth, but, but, if it serves the story, it makes a lot of sense. It would have been a great way for Favreau and Filoni to tease or to promote of what's coming next with the Ahsoka series. It really could have been something of value that would have really added more to the story, it would have also given us, the Boba Fett that we all wanted to see, 
in the Boba in the Boba Fett show that we did not get. We know that James Mangold unveiled a couple of days ago that his Boba Fett movie was about to be near R-rated. And just think about it. He was going to give us the true Boba Fett, apparently, and Kathleen Kennedy did not want that to happen and turned it into a TV show and watered him down. All right. On to the next thing here. He goes on to elaborate further. We even had plans to bring up Thrawn for a post credit scene that Kathy pushed for cancellation. In replacement of that, she felt celebrity cameos from Jack Black and Lizzo would garner an audience for fans of those actors and entertainers to The Mandalorian. It didn't really work out that way, though. She thought it would. And though that was out of my control at the time, we are on our own now, so far, for Mando Season 4. We've got our own thing going on with that. For Season 4, I can confirm that we have some surprising cameos on the horizon that I am talking over with Filoni right now. But Season 3 was a very difficult production for us between directors and Kathy holding different visions for the last installment. Had we had full control, we would have had done things far differently. So, again, I mean... <laughs> John Favreau, he always speaks the truth lately. He likes to speak the truth, and that's what he's all about. And though, you know, he really could have done something spectacular if he did have everything in his control, let's be honest. I mean, it was a common misconception that Kathleen Kennedy had no control over Mando 3. The truth of the matter was, she had full control when they were writing the script midway through and had no control when she was actually, or when they were actually filming the series. By that time, it's too late though. What's done is done. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, look, I mean, they have a lot of things going forward. They made some script revisions as well midway through, which also caused a lot of trouble. And at the end of the day too, we got to remember and recall that Mando season three had so many different opportunities to really steer Star Wars in a great path and it turned out to be in the opposite path. So now they have to carry on all this weight for Mando Season 4, uh, moving onwards now with Ahsoka Season 1 and 2, which by the way, Season 2 may very well be delayed further uh, because now John and Dave are carrying all this weight with Mando Season 4, trying to really revise those plans. We've heard that there's going to be a lot of rewrites coming out uh, on the horizon because of the writer's strike and how they have a shift in storyline. So there's a lot of things happening with that too. And let's be honest here as well, that we know that John and Dave are gonna eventually split apart. We talked about this, uh, not that they don't like each other, but they're gonna be working with different creators on different shows in the coming years. There's even a plan for John to work with Tony Gilroy separately from Filoni on a specific project and Filoni to work with another creator on a separate Star Wars project. Just to test the waters. Disney wants to test the waters to see how they work separately with other creators out there to see what kind of creations they can really bring out into the world. So yeah, I mean, guys, I would love to hear your take on all of this below in the comments about season three. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.